Hey y'all! Welcome back to the life of Pylea. It's Pylea. We're doing something just a little bit different today than what we've done in the past. We're not going anywhere. I'm not doing a review on any plays. But I decided that I wanted to make a male avatar. I'm not doing it on an alt account. I'm just doing it on my Pylea account. Um, but, you know, I had a fun time doing it. So let's go ahead and um, let's see how it goes. Uh, I'll put a slurl to the places that I went shopping in the description to this video. I tried to spend as little money as possible, but I did spend some lindens on it. So let's go ahead and get started. So we did come over to um, the Legacy store to get the free Legacy Classic male body. You do have to join their group to get it for freezies, so I did have to um, do that. Um, but like I said, because I didn't want to spend a lot of money on this, um, that was just the way I decided to go. From here I had found a skin from the uh, Happy Weekend sale. Oh, because I was using that free Elaine head that I got from Aluka over like around Christmas time. So I knew that that would work. Like the most annoying part, here I am back at home, I'm taking off all of my things. And I wish that I had thought a little bit more carefully about, um, I, like I should have just removed all of my female items and attachments like at once. But instead, as you'll see, I kind of removed some things. Then I have to go back and remove some more things, which was kind of like stupid on my part. I should have just taken everything off and started from scratch. But, you know, you live and you learn, right? Um, so here I am. I think I have... I just put the head on. So the, this head has kind of like... Obviously, it's more of like a Caucasian bone structure. And... Uh, you'll see why that's wor worth mentioning later on. This is the, one of the female skins that I have. I was just like, let me be sure, you know. Um, but, I mean, it's definitely pretty, right? I, mean, I haven't done any shaping or anything. It's just how he is out of the box. Um, oh, and now I'm trying to get that uh, other skin, I think. Oh, so this is the thing. I thought that was a skin, but it's just, you see, I got the hair base on. I thought that it was a skin because that thing said uh, combo, but no, it's just, it was just the dang head hair base. And then you had to buy everything else separately, which is fine, but then don't label it as a freaking combo. So now I just found a different like female skin to put on the head. So at least I could be looking at something while I shaped it. So this was like the least, I don't know. I really like um, making the shapes, like all my Pylea shape, like all of them are something that I've come up with on my own. I always kind of start with whatever they give me and then I just kind of will change it from there. Um, I definitely like, I don't know, just playing around with different things and finding something that's going to look nice to me. Kind of just playing with the nose. Uh, one thing that I've noticed is that a lot of heads like have like a really pointy chin. Like they don't seem to make a lot of round faces. And even on the round faces, they have more of a uh, still a point on the chin. So it's not so much a, a round face as it is a heart shaped face. Um, anyway, I had also stopped and picked up a couple demo clothes because I knew I was going to need some clothes. I had done this after I got the body. Uh, I knew I was going to need some clothes for trying stuff on. Otherwise, I'd just be walking around all naked. And I wasn't going to buy um, any genitals. I did not. Not I wasn't going to. I did not buy any genitals for um, this character here. The nice thing is that, you know, so many of my sneakers are like unisex that, and then, well, but they're unisex and they can be unrigged or they'll have like, be with like legacy mail or whatever. So that was nice. Here I am. I came over to, um, not found. I had found, well, I had, I had found, not found, <laughs> uh, in a, uh, it was a video. Mila was given a makeover to someone and that's how I ended up finding out about this place. So I just kind of grabbed a bunch of, um, 
skins that I thought might be okay, you know. Um, I thought that the bone structure, after I had made some changes to it, had more of like a Polynesian look. And so I was just kind of trying on some of these different skins and seeing how they were going to work out for me. Some of them not so well, I mean, for what I was going for. I thought the lips on this one were a little bit too pink for me. So I was like, oh, maybe... Then at some point I was like, maybe I need to change the shape to what they have. And that obviously, I don't know, Chad here is just not doing it for me. So I thought maybe I could change that around, but I decided I couldn't. I gave up on it. I spent like, the reason that this video was all sped up is because this whole process... See, I ended up coming back to the skin. <laughs> uh, this whole process ended up taking me, I don't know, um, maybe like two hours. It's so much so that uh, we end up going to a different store and that's actually the next day because I was so tired. Um, it was like four or five o'clock in the morning at this point and I was like I can't. I liked this one. Uh, yeah I did like how this skin looked and I liked how that one looked too. So the one thing that I noticed was that the body skin at this store um, was like I don't know it was like maybe 800 lindens or something like that no 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 no. the body skin was like 350 lindens and then the uh the face skin was like 800 lindens so we were looking at about I don't know like 1300 lindens for both of them um and so for whatever reason I was like I don't want to spend that but as you'll see I ended up spending more anyway so I don't know what my problem was there uh, this is the next day i ended up i was just looking around at skins on the marketplace and i found this one with this uh vitiligo i think is what it's called i really liked it i don't know why um and so that's the one that i decided to go with well i do know why i really like like unique looking individuals and so i went with that i came over to Cordo Wall, which is one of the places i had gotten the demo for and so I came over here to get some, uh, to get the, this hoodie. And then I'm also over here at, I don't know, I think this is a, oh, this is a rocks to get some pants. So that's what I did here. Cause you know, I didn't want to just be walking around in demo clothes the whole time. I'm certainly not shopping for men's clothes. Like this is a, a week later that I'm recording this, like I was, um, or like I do for like Pylea. But I'm definitely keeping my eyes open more for things. Mostly I just want to use them for photos and to kind of expand my styling skills into like male stuff as well. So I think that is kind of smart for me. I'm not sure. Look, I don't know why I chose a black skin to go with. And I, you know, I really struggled in thinking afterwards because, you know, I don't want anyone to think that I'm being like funny about it or any sort of um, virtual blackface or anything like that. So I hope no one thinks that I'm being ugly in doing this. So here I am, the name of the store that this was, I think is, um, oh shoot, I don't even remember the name of it, something power. Um, and so here I am, I'm just kind of, I bought the skin, I put it on, This is so this is no longer the demo one, this is the one that I purchased. And I was picking out hair, like I said, I already have a lot of stuff. So I was just trying to find something that was going to work. Oh, I decided I, I like that skin too. But since I had already purchased this other one, I was like, oh, well, that's what I'm doing now. So I have this, this is the hair that I, the hair base that I have on is from Camo. It's actually for the Mako braids. I got this at some event. Maybe it was, um, Cyber Fair. So 
So I got that. Then I came back home. So see, now I got more women's stuff. I'm still having to take off the body. Um, like my slapper, my butt slapper. I didn't even realize that I still had it on. So and here I am just trying to like clean up the shape on the male body a little bit. Cause I don't know if y'all realize this, but I'm like so used to doing the female body. And maybe other people are like this too, that like, I found there were parts of the male body that I really struggled with because like just by habit, my aesthetic is I want to curve your body and um, all of this, but like a male body is going to be more top heavy. Um, I decided I'd made his butt like way too big earlier on. So I was kind of cleaning that up a little bit. Um, yeah. And the body skin that I got was from Velour. Um, and I chose the, the one that I have on is like not the super fit one. It's just kind of like a normal one. I'm just stay messing with the sliders. I ended up going with Velour because the face skin is who they recommended going with. Also, that's who all of my um, my female skin, my body, my female body skins are. They're the velour and panema. You know, just trying to change different things about. Oh, I, was, I was focused on the nose for a while, especially because you know, again, the bone structure for this face is more uh, Caucasian and. African-American faces or, you know, they have a, a different nose structure. I should just shut up. I don't know. I had told Tyrone I was going to do this. I was like, hey, what do you think about me making a male guitar? And he was like, why? Why would you want to do that? And I'm like, oh, well, you know, I need it for pictures and blah, blah, blah. And he was like, oh, well, that makes sense. Like, go ahead. Uh, and then once I got it done, I don't think you can see him here. I think he had like gone to take a nap or something. I don't think he's in the background here. He might. No, he's. I don't know if he is or not. But uh, he had gone to take a nap and I was like finishing this part up. And then I went to go in and like just by habit I was like oh I want to cuddle but I was like no you, you don't want to ups you know I just didn't want to surprise him like that but he really likes how it turned out um, I also went and swung by a couple's friends' house to have them look at it and they seemed to enjoy it as well um, so I was just trying to kind of pick out some face animations that would match the personality that I envisioned him having and then I decided I needed to go find an AO that would do that as well I was kind of exploring the different male HUDs because you know obviously the female one doesn't come with beards but uh, so I was kind of checking that out. I decided against the beard uh, even though I think the beards could be fun for this skin I don't think that it um, matched very well I did keep my gold teeth that I wear um, on my Pilea account. I got those from the dead boy. I don't know. They're like, the, I've been wearing them ever since I got them, like nonstop. And honestly, I didn't even think about it until I think we got to this point that I was like, oh, so I decided he was going to kind of be like punk rock. And um, so I use these PKC. Uh, elf ear earrings on him. I like those. Oh, I was getting a tattoo. Here. Just waiting 
for it to resin. Because why not? I even kind of, at first, I was like, oh, I don't know, this tattoo seems a little bit aggressive. But then I decided, you know what, it's okay. Also, I had spent, like, this took way more time than I thought it was going to. And so, like, towards the end, I was just like, whatever. Like, just make it work. Get some stuff on. Here I am shopping for an AO. And I keep on stopping. You know, I do this for Pylea too. Uh, whenever we get a new body or whatever. I'm like constantly tweaking the shape a little bit. So I picked out an AO that was kind of hoppy. Kind of, um, you know, this is just kind of the personality. I've definitely seen people that I've known in my life in this avatar. Um, and I don't mean that in like a negative way. It just definitely the people I've gone to school with or whatever. Um, I can kind of feel the personality of them coming through here. So maybe they did influence me a little bit, but, um, I think he turned out pretty great. I really, um, like him. I haven't used him in any photos yet, but I'm definitely going to. Thanks so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Uh, if you have any other suggestions for any other kind of crazy videos we can do, please feel free to let me know. Uh, please like, comment, and subscribe on this video uh, if you're inclined to do so. And I'll see you next time.